Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest and trendiest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. What's up, guys? How you doing? Not bad. You? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's jump right into it. Patrick Anyene calls out Peruzi and Davido over breach of contract saying all he wants is his due compensation. He took to Twitter to air his grievances as regards a legal battle between him, Peruzi, and Davido, which he said is already in court, but is being delayed. Plus TV Africa spoke with an entertainment lawyer, Fawe Emi Foza Uyikosola, who gave her opinion on the issue. Um, so from the conversation or from the statements or claims that um, Patrick made, it's a breach of contract on the side of Peruzi with Golden Golden Boy Entertainment. So it's a civil matter. It's a breach of contract um, issue allegedly that is going on, and the only way um, DMW would be roped in is if um, part of the negotiation or the prior existing um, discussion with before Peruzi, you know, allegedly left Golden Boy was that DMW was going to either buy him out of the contract or it was going to be a joint venture or it was going to be subject to royalty in some cases. So if if, if that was the prior conversation that was had between Golden Boy, DMW and Peruzzi, then DMW can be um, brought into as a party to this um, dispute. But if not, then they'll be excluded and it will be golden, point, golden Boy and uh, Perusi part of the action. Yeah. Well, you consider also touched on the consequences of the said action. Consequences of the action will be all materials that have been released or promoted or all profits that have been made um, uh, by Peruzzi within the period of, I'm thinking this is between 2018, if I'm not mistaken, 2018 to 2020, all such profit belongs to Golden Boy in the instance of what mm. was signed. So if the contract said um, it was a 60 agreement in favor of Golden Boy, it means that everything created, including the new album it released, belongs to Golden Boy. Speaking further on the ongoing case, she touched on the attitude of Nigerians and artists in general towards honoring agreements and how some of these artists don't understand their obligations in a contract. Nigerians don't respect contracts, period. It's not a function of whether it's an artist or it's just a general um, culture in the industry where we tend not to honor agreements or honor obligations. However, peculiar to the industry is this is there's a there's a huge misunderstanding and lack of education in terms of um, responsibility and obligation of each party in uh, in an entertainment relationship. So half the time, in my experience, when there's a dispute between a label and an artist, half the time it boils down to ignorance and um, ignorance and and uh, and not knowing what your obligation is. So an artist is expecting that. It should be promoted like Drake when he's still in artist development phase. And if you're in the artist development phase for another two years, which means you're not ready for the market, they come out saying that the label has not done anything for them or the label is not doing anything. Meanwhile, there's a full, huge investment in artist development that was going on. On the flip side, the label feels like once you get a house and once you get a car for the artist, and you've done your part. Meanwhile, the reason why the contract was signed was for content production and promotion and marketing of the brand, you know, as mm -hmm. it were. So it's, it boils down to both parties. Most of the time, both parties and both stakeholders don't understand, uh, properly understand the obligation. Even though it's on paper, most mm -hmm. of them don't understand what has been signed. Finally, on whether Patrick has a good chance to win the case in court as a lawyer, here's what she had to say. Well, a good lawyer never gives probability in in our if you go and argue your case and but if there's a valid contract if there's an existing contract and the terms are properly spelled out and he has his evidence to prove that there was um for, for everything he claimed um in his street he 
has a high, he has a good chance of having a good hearing in court. So. Okay, so um, this case is stressful, <laughs> really, because it's still trending on Twitter as we speak. Yeah, mm. surviving Perusi. I mean, that's mm. hashtag is just funny. <laughs> and then David Doe has responded, but it's a, should I say it's a coded response, saying this is, I'm sure we'll have his response on the screen, but mm. it's just weird to see. I don't know, what do you have to say? Okay, so for me, first I would address... Um, Peruse, because I think it takes a good art, you know, to reach out or help somebody that is not your blood or your relative, to give them, to clothe them, shelter them, and even give them money to sponsor their education, if that's true. Mm -hmm. And if truly this guy did all this, honestly, I really don't care if it's about the money, even if it's 500 naira is spent on you. At that point, you needed that 500 naira mm. and it was available to help you. So you cannot talk to that person and say to that person that so 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 amount is chicken change. Forty three million. Why That's didn't you go? Minutes. I mean, forty three million is chicken change. Why didn't you go and pick that for three million that is chicken change then when you needed it? Mm -hmm. And then um, to the guy um, Patrick. Patrick, right mm -hmm. now, I think you have a good case if truly the contract was well spelled out. He has mm. a very good case. And I don't think he should back down on this. He should pursue it. And so um, he's already doing that. According to him, the, court is, um, the case is in court. He should take it up. He should not back down. He should not even settle out of court. No matter how long it takes. No matter how long it takes. I mean, don't stop at it. And while you're doing that, don't hang on to this particular issue and then talk about it every day. Let it be in court and then move on. If you have any other artist you think you want to promote now, this the right, I think this is like the best time for you to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't let this. Don't let everybody think you're really hungry because of this case. You know, just do the needful. And Peruzzi, honestly, I think you should act right. I, I, I don't think it's really it has gone so bad that he cannot right his wrongs right now. It's not too late for him to you know make corrections. And then this guy made it clear that Peruzzi introduced um, Patrick to David Doe as the guy that recorded his video. And in the chat that he released between him and Davido, Davido stated clearly that Peruzzi is not signed to DMW. So, I, I mean, like the entertainment lawyer rightly said, I don't think DMW is going to be dragged into this. Only if they have another contract with DMW saying we own um, Peruzzi together or we are both involved in Peruzzi, then that's where there's a problem. But I don't think there's anything like that because he didn't say there was like an arrangement or whatever it is between him and official arrangement between Davido and Patrick. Mm. So on this one, Peruzzi is very wrong and it's just very rude that somebody will help you and this is what you can, you know, used to pay back the favor. It's just bad. Nigerians need to do better. Um, I think um, the lawyer also touched on the fact that people keep saying David Doe, because um, if you ask me, David Doe has absolutely nothing to do with me. all of this. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, because um, he has denied signing Peruzzi to even start with. And if there's anything, it should be between DMW and not David Doe. Mm. Who is DMW? I mean, DMW uh, is a brand. The company. <laughs> it's a company. Who, do we, who is the face of the brand? I mean, we've had a conversation where probably a case is ongoing and Jay-Z is involved in the case. Who do they drag in the case? Or whose name is used as the reportage for the case? I mean, is the person you know that you would call. But I mean, well, I, at the end of the day, Jay-Z's company's name is being called. It's just that Jay-Z is being mentioned in that situation. It's not same thing that's happening. No, no, no. This time around, it's even, I mean, DMW is not really being mentioned. It's David Doe. That is mm -hmm. being dragged. But at the same time, before you land um, what you were going to say, I feel like David Doe also has a role to play in this because, regardless, we are all humans. And this guy has reached out to you as one record label boss to another record label boss. Have you tried to speak to Peruzzi? To I think they also leaked no, the chat with David Doe. Have you tried to speak? To David, I mean, to Peruzzi to do the right thing, and then secondly, uh, he he let out a charge, right? And he said, oh, um, he did not sign him, and blah blah blah. But then he's also saying that when he said, come and let's have a conversation, David was there, Peruzzi was there, and it became an altercation. We saw the video, and the video is also clear to be played on air. But it was David was present where Peruzzi was telling him for three million is chicken change and blah blah blah. So. 
from one boss to another who understands what it takes to build an artist, what has he done to make this thing right? That is a question that we cannot sweep aside. That's how I feel about it, though. And uh, I, I totally get what you're saying, but let me just please advocate here. <laughs> because now, you know, Paris is the one in between. Mm -hmm. Paris is telling Davido a story. We don't know what he's telling to Davido. Now we don't even know... Peruzzi's side of the story. I mean, I would really appreciate if Peruzzi would come out to say something about this, like, mm -hmm. let's know your own side of the story, because this is just one side of the story that we know. Mm -hmm. You know, come and tell your own side of the story. That's when we can now say, maybe Davido has a role Which is to why play. I'm yeah. saying, as one record label boss to another, now, I even want to ignore the old okay. record label boss to another. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to look at it from a business point of view. Mm -hmm. David O has released a tweet saying that best thing that happened to me. It's so and Peruzzi. Mm. No, it's, I don't it's even think it's Peruzzi. No, it's not. Is the okay, it's tweet with Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's just me. Okay. But I think it was Peruzzi. referring to Peruzzi. Yeah. Okay. And if you actually think about it, ever since Peruzzi came into the picture, mm -hmm. David O's sound changed. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And it is public knowledge that Peruzzi writes a lot of songs for David O. Do you understand? And, um, in that case, from the business side, if my business is doing better with somebody and that person keeps telling me that I don't have a contract with this person, do you understand? I'll keep working with you. Honestly. Until it is now legal, this person pulls out, I don't have a, they keep telling me this, you keep telling me that. Yes, I understand where you're coming from that as a boss to a mm, boss. But, eh? but <laughs> if I'm striving, it's only human nature to be yeah, selfish. Honestly. Let's so face you're it. saying he's supposed to be selfish. Even I'm not when, saying, I'm that's not, not, right that's now, not. No, right now, the case is in court. I mean, I don't even know why he decided, but okay, he was saying he's now being delayed. But the mm. case is in court, meaning there is a legal document. Of, obviously. And David O is aware of this from that chat. Even when he's saying, oh, I did not sign. Okay, why hasn't he signed for Okay, now hold on. Because, because, because he knows, he knows that he's contract. Yeah, so can I so you're saying he does not have are you saying any he responsibility wants to even make Peruzzi do the it right is between thing? Peruzzi well, you know, and Golden Boy. Force, uh, that's my, Peruzzi Peruzzi the lawyer said that between Golden Boy and Peruzzi. David cannot force Peruzzi to do what he wants to do. He can only advise. And I wish that he has not spoken to him that you know what? If you have anything to do with this guy, sort it okay, out. And Peruzzi's been stubborn angle. about let me bring it. it from this angle. So when you're doing music, mm. I mean there's the part of creativity and putting out good music out there and all that, right? Mm. And there's the part of the business. So everybody signs a contract mm. and you know who is getting this and where it is getting mm. getting to. As a business owner, let's forget about the, pe the personal angle, and you are signing this contract and you know you're signing it with somebody who is allegedly tied to someone. Mm. At the end of the day, you're working with an artist of a record label who is supposed to also get something from the court. Is it not supposed to be played But I think David wrote him at some point when he said that um, Peruzzi's first court is ready, mm -hmm. come. Yeah. Which was yeah. where the altercation happened. Yeah, but I think David was still playing his own part by saying that, okay, because we don't even know now, which is and why And David was saying, stated clearly in that chat that I didn't collect any money on behalf of Peruzzi mm. as maybe his manager or the head of his record label. Mm -hmm. So I really don't owe so you any anything. Money Money Perez is taking for shoes is going to Perez's Perez's pockets. pockets. It is not going to DMW. Okay. So what it is Perez now to keep up with the obligation period. to pay Golden Boy. Period. Like, like they should settle it. But I, mean, I think okay, finally. Chicken change. And if you feel it's chicken change, you should have flinged it out of the window by now. Even if Patrick has to pick it from the floor. I really it feel. I mean, I, I really feel so keys. bad for this Patrick guy because I can imagine if I'm in his shoes. You know, when you've spent so much on somebody, mm. and then the person thinks I've seen a bigger opportunity, and then, you know, there's really not wrong in when you're working with somebody mm -hmm. and you see a bigger opportunity where the problem is how you're going to leave that person mm -hmm. if you are, I'm sure if you had gone to meet Patrick here and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation that okay you know what I want to be a part of DMW or I want to be an independent artist and you know they sort it out I don't think all this will be happening he, but because you're just you yeah, know but he also mentioned that he told him that he wanted them that's us to join DMW mm. and the at the end of the day you went behind yeah. him and it's just wrong I, 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 well, on top I, of I his fly stickers, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, not forget that like, like we always say, the three sides to a story. Mm. My side, your side, and the truth. So um, we've only heard one side. Right. Um, I'd like Peruzzi to also come out and address the situation. Mm. David o has played his part by addressing it as well. Mm. Mm. It might sound subliminal or like it's just a He has uh, not addressed it. He, uh, well, he, has, he, addressed he has nothing it, to say because he's not even involved. That's what I'm saying. So he has not addressed it. I mean, well, the best DMW thing I just should say... release a statement as well. Yeah. That, mm. And they should say that, okay, Perez is not 
our artist is not signed on the uh, record label, so we do not owe well, I think they've always them held board. that out so loud and clear for It's just part of the know. 30 billion gang. <laughs> you know. Okay, we're going to move on to the next story, though. Monique's um, discrimination lawsuit against Netflix has been deemed inaccessible by Netflix. Netflix says she failed to explain why she deserved the same pay for his stand-up special as megastars like Eddie Murphy and Ellen DeGeneres. Um, Monique is November 2019 filed for a discrimination and retaliation lawsuit against the streaming giant that claims she was offered five hundred thousand dollars for a stand-up because she is a black woman. Netflix folded a sorry. Netflix filed a motion to dismiss several of her claims. Absolutely nonsensical. What I will pay <laughs> approval is not what I will pay basket mouth. Period. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, that's it. No, that's it. It's, it's that simple. Oh my God. I'm, no disrespect. What I will pay Fireboy. Yeah. What I will pay Fireboy. It's not what I will pay Whiskey. It's just, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, 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 so I don't know why she's in her feelings, and then you know, I think she's kind of looking for money. You know when Oprah did the um, what's it called the doc, um, was it the, was it Oprah? Somebody oh. did something that, that revealed how she was raped by her brother and something like that was talking yeah, about was that on the show. Mm -hmm. I think it was Oprah, and she was I think she was kind of requesting money. Back no, no, she said she was hurt that she wanted an apology and all she that. Wanted, she was so I don't know. I don't know. I think she's in her feelings lately. I don't know maybe it's age, but um, I know I used to love Monique, but with all of this, five hundred million, please offer. I can do comedy. You. Can and for me, laugh. I think my problem with this is because I feel like she's just making this whole um, racist thing a joke. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there are people that are really going through this. I don't think there's any racist card being played yeah. here or whatever. And she's been she's it's, watching it down because um, at the end of the day, there are black people on your list. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I mean, that's like, like the contradicting they are not black women. So she's playing the racist and the feminism card she all at once. Card. Yeah, maybe card. if she, maybe if she kept the you know. The um, racist part mm. of uh, part, part of, of it, it out, then we can say okay. We that, understand we where understand. you're coming from. But even at that, she see the people you're the comparing Chappelle yourself to. Mm. Coming and then to you America, need to, uh, she needs to also understand that when it comes to business and branding, you can be very big, and if you don't know how to represent yourself and negotiate properly for yourself, mm. you will be given what. Um, you are worth much more than. So in what Netflix is saying, they said she didn't even come back to prove to them, them why, why she is worth mm. more. So if you had a conversation with them or a negotiation session to say, okay. I think it came from a place of pride. It, this is what mm. I'm worth, right? And this is what you're offering. And they're like, oh, why should I pay you that much? And then you give them instances. I've, I've done this, I've done that. This is my following. Mm. This is how long I've been in the industry. This is what I was paying. I mean, it is all about this is negotiation. How, this is not where you're supposed to bring in sentiments. And I don't even reason. think you're even supposed to be negotiating this type of deal yourself. You should have a lawyer mm. who negotiates the if they offer you five, you shouldn't even reply them to start with. You should have your lawyer write them that, oh, my client is worth way more than $500,000 and we think that you should up you. You know, fight something I official. Think human and that beings way, are just so entitled. They just feel so entitled to a lot of things that are not even. This is somebody's business. And I'm coming to you that, okay, want, let's. Um, make a deal, you know, I want you to do this for me. See that and works I'll, for you or not? I mean, it's, I want to pay you a thousand naira and you're saying, no, pay me two thousand naira. I'm saying, okay, I don't have that. How is that even a problem? <laughs> like, I'm just... And I then don't, you pull out the racist and um, sexist card, no. Trying to put them in bad light because they don't want you. It's, I mean, it's not compulsory. Okay. Yeah, all the platforms. And look at the people. Look at the caliber of people. So that's that's just uh, no. <laughs> that's just don't so don't wrong. Even, don't yeah. even try it. So while we're playing the or why she's playing the racist and um, feminism card or the sexist card, um, mm. Chimamanda is talking again. She says the idea of domestic work is still thought of as something that women should do. Um, according to Reuters, the award-winning author made this known during a conference in Santiago. She said, and I quote, in many countries across the world, it's still thought of as something that women should do. Because of that, women are doing domestic work at home and also working outside the home. Women and women are now doubly burdened, and so what can seem like equality really isn't. In the future, we have to address that otherwise it will take women back even more mm. we have to start addressing it now <laughs>
<laughs> this is not about the future. We need to start addressing it now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the way she said it because yeah. uh, nobody would have said it better. We are not where we used to be. A lot of men are already changing their orientation. Mm -hmm. A lot of women themselves are changing their orientation because this is not just about the man. Some women see it like, yeah, it's really my responsibility and it's okay. Yeah. But now a lot of women are beginning to understand that this is not even about... The what gender. the gender is about, I mean, it's just normal that you went to work, I went to work, and we're back, and you're telling me I'm tired, or you go and make food. Mm. <laughs> Did I go and swim at work, or I went to see movies? Mm. I went to work, so, mm. you know, so I think this is just okay, and everybody should just know that. It's, it's, it's just wrong. Nobody's created to slave for the other person. And I think, um, you know, relationship or marriage, it should be a thing. It should go hand in hand. You should be each other's helper, mm. regardless. Like the example you gave, you went to work, I went to work, and you came back home before me, and the kitchen is messed up, and you're waiting for me to come and <laughs> wash the dishes. Like, since you got back mm. early, what if I get back early, I'll walk into the kitchen, I'll wash the dishes, I'll make mm -hmm. sure everyone... So even, I don't even have to ask you that when you go and make food. When you see the kitchen clean, even you, you'll be motivated to cook. Mm. Do you understand? But not that you think about, how am I going to wash? the dishes then go and cook then sweep then you know the at least the fact is that some couple here they would like just want to pick the wife up at work and drive her home mm -hmm. and still tell her to go and cook mm -hmm. like for me on this story I, I still i mean it's where i live that i would be able to understand what is going on i mean nigerian right and african so for me here, I feel like, like you said, we are getting better. We're, mm. not, we're not where we used, used to, to be. be. Mm. And that is because some families and some parents have con consciously trained their That's men mm. to understand that cooking, cleaning, and taking care of yourself is a survival instinct for human beings. Mm. It's mm. not something that women should do. As a human being, you should know how to take care of yourself. You should know how mm. to take care of environments. Mm clean yourself up, clean up after yourself and be normal. So you can now see the ripple effect of that training yeah. in some families. So I know a couple of um, um, marriages or families you walk into and you see the man in the kitchen or they're both working together and doing things. So I think our generation also and people that are intending to be parents or people that are parents now should also consciously train their um, boy oh, child, boy child yeah. same way they're training the girl child. So that's where we have a balance because we've always said this on this table that if you keep training the girl child and you're not training the boy child, you're still creating a problem. Yeah, yeah, because because on the girl who child, is supposed yeah. to marry the girl child at the end of the day? We we coexist together, we live sure. together, we cannot segregate one gender for the other. So we have to consciously train each other and do not neglect the boy child. If you neglect the boy child, we will still be real man, that's world. Nobody's <laughs> shutting us up. We'll keep saying this yeah. and we will not stop talking about it. Well, big shout out to Chimamanda for mm. this one. I think a lot of men need to actually learn from this. It is not a woman's, the woman's place is not the kitchen or the house room. <laughs> it's for a woman and a man to work hand in hand and make sure that they build a beautiful home together. Simple. At least the men sleep in the other room too. Not like it's the women that are sleeping there alone. <laughs> wow. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can watch this conversation all over again by subscribing to our YouTube channel or Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always we go to my co-anchors Ewa Oluwa Witu and Ife Oluwa Shukaye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and do stay with us.